Jermaine, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, obviously, this is voluntary, and some folks have chosen not to attend. I'm curious, from your standpoint, why was it worthwhile to you to be in attendance, and, and, and why do you want to be here during this stage? Well, you know, uh, as an offensive lineman, uh, our group is all about camaraderie and uh, working together and getting our combinations and our, our communication together. So um, I, I knew when we came up here, you know, they weren't going to run us into the ground. You know, we we're going to be able to be a, a, at a teaching place to start. And um, we've kind of ramped it up a little bit, but we're still uh, working smart. So uh, that's, you know, that's all we ever want is just to work smart and get better, but uh, still get our work in. Coach, Coach Nagy expressed admiration for for the unity that you guys have had as an offensive line. I'm curious, with all the lines you've been on, how do you how do you compare this, and and, and how do you describe what you guys got going right now? You know, we're we're a close knit group. We uh, we we really we really care for each other. We do everything together. We you know we we try to be one heartbeat. We don't try to be individuals. And you know, unfortunately, on lines that can happen. But uh, our line here, I think we. Uh, me, Cody, James, and all of us with experience on the line uh, have really hammered that point home that we're all about unity and we're all about doing things together and having camaraderie. And we know that's going to feed into what we do on the field come the season and preseason. Larry Mayer. Hey, Jermaine, uh, what are your, some of your first impressions of Andy Dalton working with him as a player and a person? Um, you know, he's, he's a veteran quarterback. He's, uh, he's a Texas guy. He's from Katy. So uh, we had that connection and um, we hit it off immediately on that. And I'm always uh, happy about that. And I, I do like the Texas Christian University. I have a lot of friends who've gone there. So it's been great getting to know him. Uh, as a quarterback, you know, consummate pro, he, uh, he gets the ball out on time, which is uh, critical for a starting quarterback and critical for offensive linemen. Uh, he's just, he's just a, you know, he's a, he's a, He's a leader of men and he's done it before. He's he's been in the fire and nothing phases him. So you love that in a quarterback, you know, that that veteran presence. And uh he's he's just he's he's been everything we could have asked him to be. Thank you. Brad Biggs. Hey Jermaine, what's going on, man? Um I'm curious, did the coaches try to find a balance for for you guys as players by reducing OTAs by by one week? I think I think it's a good balance. I think uh, as we as we come into 2021 after a crazy 2020, I think it's it's time to that we all start to adjust and start to you know just not do everything the old way. We can always adjust and get better and smarter, and it helps all parties. It's not you know it's not about coaches and control. It's not about players and not having to do long practices and all that. It's just about all of us getting better and. It's just been it's been a great uh, it's been a great partnership. Uh, we have a, a lot of our offense here, and we've been able to we've been able to really get a lot of good work. And um, the extra week of teaching and uh, strength and conditioning was really good for us. Also, we we do appreciate that, and just being up here together, uh, like like uh, was mentioned before, the line being up here together, being able to work out together, and you know, just it's that time of year and I think a lot of guys around the league will have that same sentiment just like being around the other guys and that's it's really what it's about this time of year what was it odd seeing so many um defensive guys not there today I mean there, there were grant I know you're on the o-line but there were a grand total of three d linemen there yeah you know it's it's uh you know it's, it's everybody's choice it's, it's all voluntary so you know we don't we don't we know those guys are going to be ready when they get here. We know there we have so many great pros on this team that played in so many big moments. We know they'll be ready uh, when they when they whenever they're here. We'll welcome them, and it'll be like they didn't miss a beat. You know, I've seen it my entire career. It's not the first year that uh, certain guys don't show up. You know, it's just everybody has their own things they need to deal with and do during the offseason. And some guys have the leeway to be able to be up here. So. It is what it is. We all, uh, when you know, when we all get together, we know when the bullets start flying, uh, we're, our guys are going to be ready to go. Mark Potash. Hey, Jermaine. Uh, how do you feel about playing a 17th game uh, this season? There's, there's, you know, so much concern about injuries in the NFL. You'd think there'd be fewer games than more, but you've got one extra one. Just would like to know how you feel about that. And do you guys as linemen talk about that? Because you're going to bear the brunt of uh, that, uh, a lot of you guys. Yeah, it's you know it's different, it's an adjustment, but uh, you know you can you can kind of you know 
complain about it, pontificate about it all you want, but you know, we have to do it and we'll be we'll be fine doing it. Uh we'll adjust. We, you know, we just have to do a good job taking care of our bodies because you know the goal is always to be playing a 17, 18, 19 games. Sometimes sometimes it's just gotta add a 20, 21 on there. So it's it's fine. Yeah, uh, you know, you complain about it and talk crazy about it, then that's all good banter, but at the end of the day, we'll be ready, and after the 16th game, we'll be like, "Oh, it's usually over after this, or we're going to the playoffs." But we'll we'll play a 17th, and we'll we'll enjoy it, and we'll we'll do a great job at it. How about Chris? Hey, Jermaine, I've got an old line question for you, but before I get there, real quick, I know it's just Zoom, but you look like you may be a little lighter this year. Have you changed your body type, or your preparation at all? Well, every every year, every year you're trying to get better with nutrition, especially as you get older in the NFL. Uh, you can't really do the things you did when you were younger. Unfortunately, you, you gotta you gotta really hone in on uh, your diet and be disciplined about it. And you know, I, as every year I've just tried to get better with it, and I try to uh, keep adding things to my regimen to uh, make me to let me continue to have longevity in this league because. You know, it's a, it's a tough league and it can be unforgiving at times. So you want to have all the advantages you can have, uh, especially with diet, especially with uh, being smart with workouts, but still getting your work in. Uh, we, we just we just want to keep we just want to keep keep at it. And I think that's a, a lot of guys tell you that yeah, as they get older. I had guys my rookie year telling me, hey, you, you know, you can probably eat whatever you want right now, but in four or five years, when uh when things are aching and uh, you gotta uh, keep up with twenty one year olds and you're five six seven years older than them you you're gonna make those changes and you they you notice them you notice them and they uh they help you on the day to day. So the old line question just real quick, um, Tevin Jenkins it looks like he could end up a, a plug and play highly drafted starter as a rookie. You have experience with that. What would you tell him about being prepared to go possibly as early as the opener or certainly early in his rookie season? You know, just just keep competing, keep keep playing hard, keep getting better, keep looking for ways to get better. I think as a rookie old lineman, uh, there's so many things you don't know and you don't even know what you don't know. And it's it can be a real tough thing. You're kind of learning on the go in a lot of situations. But it's, just, it's all about competition. It's all about you know, what can I do to get a little bit better every day? And, you know, that has to be an everyday type of question. It has to be an everyday type of uh, action for you to continue to get better because, you know, it is, like I said before, it's a tough league and um, it, it can expose you pretty quick. So we just, you just got to keep getting better. You got to, you got to keep asking questions. You got to keep learning from your mistakes. And there are going to be mistakes early. It happens, but just keep learning from it and keep moving on and keep, keep your head up about it. Thank you, Jermaine. Dan Weeder. I mean, we really haven't talked to you since last season ended. I'm curious how you felt the stretch run of last season went for you individually after you, you bumped positions and, and the line as a whole sort of seemed to solidify itself a little bit. Oh, it was good. Um, I, I've played, I played a lot of offensive tackle in my career. I, I really do enjoy playing offensive tackle. Uh, I, I do think it's a, a great position for me, even though I do have the ability to play inside. So moving outside, I thought was, was a cool experience for me, and I think it's been uh, cool to start back up spring, still playing outside, and still uh, getting better at it, and still learning new things, and still being, uh, you know, still just, still just learning. And it's, it's been good. It's been good. The stretch run was good. Uh, I'm glad we we're able to get things back on track, and we had a chance to uh, get in the playoffs. And uh, I thought we had a good chance in that game. You know, just we didn't execute enough on offense, and it, it, but that's okay. But we come back this year and we just get better. And um, I'm excited for um, what I'm going to be able to do. And I'm excited for what our offensive line, our offense, and what our team is going to be able to do ultimately. Thank you. Pat Finley. Somewhat along those lines, uh, the way you guys ran the ball in the second half of the season, maybe the, the back third of the season, what did that do for everybody's confidence uh, that you can do it again and, and can you feel that in a way this off season uh, that you um, uh, that you guys know you can run the ball when you have to yeah it's been, it's been something we've uh, stressed uh, we, we love we, we love to run the ball put our hand in the dirt we we have so many capable backs uh, coming back this year uh, David the Tariq's coming back uh, Damian from uh, the Chiefs and we have a couple young rookies and a couple young guys from last year that are still coming back and they run hard and 
they're uh, they're really learning our system. And I think at, last year we we're all learning as we were going along with the abbreviated off season. We weren't able to get our runs in uh, installed and on and work them on the field for so long. So I think it was just we kind of got off to a good start and then we plateaued a little bit and then we kind of found our groove again. And I think that's working hand in hand with David. We got comfortable. David got more comfortable. And we're just getting more comfortable now. And we're not even where we want to be. And I thought we had some uh, pretty decent numbers on uh, in a lot of run categories. So we we know that we have so much ahead of us in, in that aspect. All right, we got time for a couple more. We'll go Colleen Kane, Mark Grody, and close it out with Joe Lewis. Colleen? Hey, Jermaine, uh, just I had a question about COVID as things are kind of going back to normal around the country. Um, I was curious what the conversations have been like um, with coaches and kind of the team as far as the benefits of player vaccination, because I know the NFL protocols will ease up for players that are vaccinated. And then uh, also, can I just ask if, if you've been vaccinated yet? So, uh, the, you know, discussion is it, it's been encouraged and encouraged by the league. It's been encouraged uh, around the league. And um, me personally, I do think it's a good thing. I think uh, getting, getting the COVID-19 uh, under control was we just needed that and and I think the vaccines have been able to, the numbers have said that it's saved a lot of lives and the the, the amount of deaths has gone down and that's what we want uh, ultimately uh, no matter what anybody's opinion is on it um, you know me personally I have not gotten around to it um, it's something that I do plan on sitting down and uh, really exploring soon uh, looking into it really getting deep into the education on it and then making an informed decision. But at the end of the day, you also have to account for the people around you. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's some give and take to it, but, uh, you know, I, don't, I, I, I can't see myself uh, being the selfish one and not doing it. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing for, for a lot of people to, to do. And uh, I, would, I would encourage it. It's just, you know, everybody has their views on it. And I, you know, but, uh, with with the NFL and the protocols, you know, we don't love waking up every day and getting tested. We don't love, you know, having to wear a mask around the building all day. It's it's it, it can be it can wear on you a little bit. So, you know, some incentives never hurt. <laughs> you know, incentives never hurt. Mark Grody. Hey Jermaine, the, the last time we we spoke to your position coach, Juan Castillo, he he said that he thinks that you can be a pro bowler. He was pretty adamant about it. What do you think when you hear that? I don't think he's wrong. Uh, I, I think, um, you know, he knows me pretty well. He knows how I work. He knows um, my football IQ and what I put into this game and what I've done uh, in my five years in the NFL. So, you know, people can say what they want and, uh, and they will say what they want about me and what I've done in my career. But at the end of the day, um, you know, he's not wrong because he sees it every day, uh, even when I'm not around. Uh, we're, we're constant communication and we are uh, hand in hand in, in me getting better. And that's what it's just, that's what it's been. And we've seen the results. So I'm not I don't I, 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 I I'm not surprised by anything he said because he, he wholeheartedly believes it. I wholeheartedly believe it. You know, there's a lot of facts that go into that. But as far as being a, a consistent player and every, you know, uh, uh, want a better alignment in the league? I don't think that's, I think that's the expectation. That's the expectation. That's my expectation. That's Coach Nagy. That's uh, Ryan's expectation. That's Coach Castillo's expectation. And, and uh, I live, and I, and I try to live up to that every day for them because uh, they took a chance with me and they believed in me and, and I'm going to give them uh, everything I got. Joe Lewis. Yeah, earlier, um, Andy talked about being a mentor to Justin Fields. You're in a similar situation as you have younger linemen like Tevin Jenkins and Larry Borm. Have you been asked to take on a leadership role with them or a mentorship role, or have you just initiated being a mentor to them this being their first year in the NFL? As no, you know, going, in, going into year six, as an older guy, I've, I've had guys before me that took me under their wing, and it, it's just what you do. It's, it's not about Oh, I'm not gonna push this guy aside because I don't want him to get better. I want him to get better. I want him to do, we can all we can all eat. It's not a me or him or anybody else, another person. I think everybody is just here trying to get better and have fun with it and and make a make a living for their family. 
And once you take that approach, you know, it's always about, all right, how, how do I bring somebody along? How do I, how do I make somebody a little better today? Make, make their existence in the, you know, in this tough league a little better because it can be unforgiving. It can be, you know, it can be a little brutal. So, you know, just you keep bringing them along and you keep, you encourage them and you, and you, you do it the right way. And you do it the right way, good things happen for